In this video, we're going to look at the Create or Edit Text Tool, which is found here on the Design Toolbar. And I'll just click on the tool, and first of all, notice that my tool options change. And here I can choose the font size and the font name and bold or italic. Um, there's an abbreviations editor that you can use to, I guess if I type in um, exclamation and equal sign, I'll get this special symbol. So that's what the abbreviations editor would be for. Now simply put, when you click on your edit text tool, you click on your workspace to decide where you want to type your embroidery and you have your, your lettering prompt. And now you could go in and type in, you know, RCA. And now I have the letters that I want to create. And I can still change in here the font or the style, you know, to get it what I want. And when I'm kind of happy with it, I click on the rectangle selection tool. And that will generate the stitches and allow me to do other types of transformations, like I guess grab on a corner handle and make it bigger, or grab on a side handle and make it taller, or you know, slant it or whatever. So you can do all kinds of modifications just like you could any sort of object. Okay, now. If I want to make changes to the lettering after I've made it, for example, change the font or add more letters, I can do that by first I need to have it selected with the rectangle selection tool. Then I click back on the edit text tool, which then re sort of opens up the tool options for text. And I could, you know, say, okay, well, let's choose a different font and try something different. You know, maybe that's too small. I want something else. And you just keep looking. If what I one thing I found is helpful is if I choose a font and then just scroll with my mouse over top of the font names, it'll it'll quickly update my letters and allow me to decide, you know, when I've got a font that makes me happy. And whenever you do, then of course you just click on rectangle selection to go back to sort of your normal selection mode. Now, if I want to add more letters, same thing. Click back on the edit text tool. Click my letter, letter prompt again and type in records. Yeah, click back on the rectangle selection tool. So you can kind of work back and forth with it. If I click off it, let's go. Click on it selected. Click on edit text tool to change the font. Click back on the rectangle selection tool. Now I'm working with uh, artistic simple cut right now and with the simple cut I have the ability to choose from things like zigzag fill or um, you know for my drawing tools or applique or net fill if I was using artistic suite software then there would be other styles of fill available such as a standard fill or a satin fill but of course you always have the ability in your simple cut software to create embroidery outlines and so you could do either paint for your uh, lettering or if you want you could do run line outlines and so that's what these have right now you can see they all have white paint fills and embroidery run stitch outlines so that's what you can create using the edit text tool now there's more things to learn about text and so check back for the next video where we'll talk about using the edit shape nodes tool to um, manipulate the positions of the letters